Hey, this this is the live reaction from the Bucket Discussions channel, man. Bro, yes, Kevin sir. Durant has just requested a trade from the Brooklyn yes, Nets. Right now, bro, we got the reports. They pouring in right now. Talking about he wants to go to the Phoenix Suns. He wants to go to the Miami Heat, bro. This is live reaction. Once again, I'm going to keep repeating that. What's y'all thoughts on this whole bombshell that just dropped on our phones not even five minutes ago, bro? What's, what's y'all thoughts? Hey, it, it's kind of crazy to be. Um, KD, Kyrie, they put on a, uh, a lot of the – they've been putting on the show in the offseason. Um, yeah. It's crazy to see that after you, you request to get to Brooklyn with your boy Kyrie and set all that up, now you went out and we, like, after it doesn't work out for a season. <laughs> so now that they get together, Kyrie made his decision after he had his whole – he ends up staying in Brooklyn. Now you leave. I think that I think everything is pretty crazy, bro. But it's a, it's, a, it's an interesting offseason. And it's gonna be interesting to see where Katie lands. All right, bro. Cool. What's your what's your initial yeah, no, reaction, bro? Up. Man, bro, that shit crazy. But no, he wasn't he wasn't lying, bro. It's gonna be crazy to see wherever he lands, bro. It doesn't matter if it's like a team like the fucking Rockets, Detroit Pistons, or a contender like the Suns, bro. Either way, it's gonna change up the league and. I mean, it's it's crazy, man. That is just the shit just dropped, and like just a couple of days ago, you had Kyrie opt into his his last year of the deal. So it's just like, it's crazy, bro. It just shakes up the whole league for real. I mean, all all twenty nine other teams. So we're just gonna have to see what happens, bro. Now, nah, bro, right here we're talking about a titan in the game of basketball in the NBA, bro. We're not talking about just yeah. no small trade, no DeAndre Ayton or nothing like that, bro. We're talking about yeah. one of the best players ever, not just in the league today, ever. Just requested yeah. a trade, bro. As the Brooklyn Nets. What do you get back? What do you get back for him without it feeling like you just got finessed from e from any team that you you decide to trade with? I need I need a star player and a co star. <laughs> mm. Like I need a star player and a co star. So if I'm gonna go to Miami. I need Jimmy. <laughs> I need Jimmy and somebody else. I she said I need Jimmy. <laughs> if you want to go to if you want to go to Phoenix, I need book. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. I'm, I'm um if um. Brooklyn, because after all this, hey, I'm gonna need something up out of you, my boy. We ain't give you up for pennies and future, future round draft picks. We're not going for any of that. I need, I need, I need established players. I don't need no tomorrow's players. I need someone that can. Yeah, that's facts, bro. That's facts, man. Uh, honestly, bro, honestly, just depends on which route the fucking Brooklyn Nets are trying to go. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're trying to just hit the full reset button, honestly, which I think would be best because they don't really got much going for him at this point. Uh, but, yeah, man, if he's going to trade him for, like, a player or a couple players, yeah, it needs to be, like, a star or a star or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they trade him to the Nuggets or something, I need at least Jamal Murray, MPJ, and, like, some picks and maybe some other players or something like that. But I don't know. This, Like I said, this is going to shake up the whole league, like, what team goes to. Detroit Pistons, if he gets traded there somehow, they're gonna need K, man. They're gonna need y'all are gonna have to get that up. You feel me? So it's just kind of like it's gonna it's just gonna fuck up the whole league regardless. So it's it's crazy, man. All right, bro. So as a Lakers fan, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my trade proposal. Sean Marks, <laughs> the GM of the, the Brooklyn Nets. Like, hear me out. Just hear me out. Okay. Fine. We'll get y'all. We'll get y'all. Anthony Davis. One of the best, one of the best players in the league. Hey, I need something Russ, else. Bro. We'll get y'all Russ, bro. Put him at shooting guard. Do whatever you want to do around, bro. He averaged a triple double for three years straight. But how many players can say yeah. he did that? He he has yeah. the most triple doubles in NBA history. Y'all yeah. can have strong. Russ. Hey, we said AD Russ. Hey, uh, actually, no, we need to keep we need to keep TH. We we need some depth. We gonna keep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, y'all gotta give him up. What's it? Twenty twenty seven to twenty twenty eight. First round picks, bro. It's possible because the team's not gonna be very good after after KD and LeBron are done. It's possible those are some high draft picks. So y'all can have both of those in return for KD. That's all we ask for. We don't want nobody else. Just give us KD. Who, who turns that down? Because yeah, I feel like everybody wins in that in that case. I, case that scenario. Me, LeBron James. Every, everybody wins in that scenario. How? Yeah, how? Am I lying? Hell bro, yeah. You get AD, a franchise everybody. star, you can build around him. And then Russ, the if, if he don't play well this year, you can get rid of him next year because he's on an aspiring oh, contract. Bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess. But, I mean, damn, for Kevin Durant, one of the all-time great players, you're getting Anthony Davis. That's like, bro, that's disrespectful. That's like giving up a half-eaten pickle and, a, like, a used tissue, bro. Like, what hey, the hey, hell are you, what hey, you hey, doing, hey, dog? It's going crazy <laughs> right now, but will any, of you no, guys, will any of you guys love to see your team, though, go ahead and throw their ring into that – they hat into the ring, man. Let me know. Hey, 
I mean, I know he probably cool. Y'all got a stacked squad right over there, bro. Y'all not yeah, we willing do. to come up off one of your stars? Bro, hey, man, I don't think the Brooklyn Nets would be willing to take a player like Marcus Morris, Reggie Jackson. No, no, like no, 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 no. We're not we talking about none of that hell shit, no, we ain't, hey, nah, we ain't, you, You're not giving nah, up PG? Giving PG? Them, no PG? Man, no, I'm cool, bro. I like, man, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I fuck with PG too much, bro. I believe in this team, bro. They just got to stay healthy. All right, bro. They just got to stay healthy. We got the Golden State Warriors fan coming off the championship. <laughs> Y'all really don't have much to lose. You giving up one of them guys? Um, it depends on who they want. We can. Clay, young guys. You can have nah. You know what? Right now, I thought it, and sat and thought out of a good trade. But if you would like to come to us, we're very open to making room for you. Making. Um, but like I said before, we're gonna have to come up off a star because I'm not coming up for anything. Left if I'm trading, KG. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, I, I don't think I'm willing to give up one of our star, star players. <laughs> you know, by the end of this season, if shit don't go well, he's ready to bounce up the next the next year. So, I don't know if I'm, if I'm willing to give up a home a homegrown talent or someone who's played with us for 10 years plus. For KD, for sure. like, he's going to be there for a couple of couple, maybe a or two bounce up. Thanks, man. And, and bro, it's only been if you think about it, he only been with Brooklyn for three years. All right, and then we got we got Ben Simmons. He said he's feeling incredible right now. It just came came to my phone. Man, I don't know what that means. You know, these guys are very uh they like the the cryptic tweets and stuff like that. Um Ben Simmons, bro. It's I guess it opens up the door for you to go crazy, bro. You got your own franchise. I mean, Kyrie Irving, that's another piece of this, bro. What do y'all think Kyrie Irving does now? Is he still going to seek mm. a trade or is he going to stay in Brooklyn and just who? Mm. What, what y'all think about that? Hey, that's tough. He's probably, like, he's probably going to seek trade just because why not? We are let's just make this, let's just let the show continue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. let's just and this has potential, bro, to be the craziest NBA offseason ever. And it seems like every year you can't top it, bro. But the offseason hasn't even started. We haven't even seen players move around yet, bro. And, and yeah, we got crazy. Kevin Durant. One, of, I'm going to keep reiterating this, bro. One of the best players to ever play the game for crushing the mm -hmm. trade. This going to tip the scale regardless of what team he goes to, bro. We got people, yeah, throwing out there. And Dame, Dame, he tweeted out a little picture of uh, him and KD, bro. He must have knew something we didn't know. He must have knew something we mm -hmm. didn't know for him to do that, bro. We talking about Portland. Okay, see, I would love to see him go back there, bro. Phoenix Suns is doing a hat in the ring. The Miami Heat, bro. Hey. Like, who else? Yeah, that's nice. Hey, you personally, I think, emerge. I think the Dallas Mavericks would be uh, – wait, hold on, what are you talking about? Kevin Durant or Kyrie? Kevin Durant, bro, and Kyrie. Kevin talking about both those guys. Hey, man, personally, I think either one of those guys would be perfect with Luka Dantage on the Dallas Mavericks because, like we just seen, hey, man, he just oh. took the number one seed Phoenix Suns. No, 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 not for real. Yeah, he beat them. You know what I'm saying? Beat them in the and got to the Western Conference Finals to face the the NBA champion. So it's kind of like you add another star to that. Hey, man, there's really no telling what could happen, bro. Because Luka Doncic is a you know like a perennial star in this league, man. So there's really no telling. Real question is crazy. though, um, mm -hmm. what if, what do you? I know I know we've seen the looks of like uh, Dame in Portland. What do y'all think the best spot for bro would be? Because honestly, I did not. Yeah, that's, I forgot Kyrie. about Portland. I forgot about Portland. Yeah, bro, that'd be another great one for Kevin Durant. I, I wouldn't say Kyrie because I mean you got two small guards in the in the backcourt. That wouldn't be ideal. You know what I'm saying? They'd be getting killed. So um, yeah, man, I think Kevin Durant and Damian Lillard, bro. There's that's probably going to be one of the highest scoring duos in the league, bro. So and the Blazers, bro, they already have pieces to trade, bro. We've seen them kind of load up, bro. They even have yes, the top seven picks, Shaden Sharp, Anthony bro. Simons, and then they have a. Uh, Keon Johnson too that they got from the Clippers, and so they, they have could probably they could probably put together the best package, bro. But this is my question for you guys: Do you think yeah. like as a team that already has their like core nucleus put together, as the Clippers, maybe the New Orleans Pelicans, bro? Do you, would you is it even worth shaking that up for Kevin Durant? I know he's that great of a player, bro. But I feel like this is more more so for teams that really don't have nothing to lose, or yeah, they're right. just trying to win a championship in the near future. Because Kevin Durant's 34, 35 right now. Something like that around right there. I, as as a as a team that already has the core nucleus, bro. I just think yeah. I'll probably stay away from it for right now. Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree with you, bro. Um, as the Clippers, honestly, as you was talking about earlier, would I trade PG? You know, honestly, like at the end of the day, I probably would. You know what I'm saying? Just because that's Kevin Durant. But it's yeah, honestly, I do think it's worth it because you do have a fair shot at winning a championship, like we just like seen, bro. Yeah. yeah, man. He, he was killing it this season. He just couldn't, you know, stay consistent on the court enough to build some chemistry with that team. 
Yes, and I do. feel like that's really what hurt them, man. I feel like that's really what hurt them, especially in the first round, getting swept, obviously. So, yeah, bro, I think I personally, I, if I was a franchise like the Clippers who haven't won shit, what do you have to lose? All right, bro. Any, any last and thoughts on this, man? We're going to continue to follow this story, man. And everybody yeah. watching, comment. If you're on social media, repost it, share. Give us your opinions, your takes on where you think Kevin yeah. Durant should go. And on YouTube, you already know what to do. Comment down below and tell us where you think yes, Kevin should go. Yep. But any last and thoughts on this, sure, man? Because I'm, I'm just I'm just really in shock right now that this is going on, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. I love the NBA offseason. Man. Jungle like I'm Conan, kind of a buff hands. Switch the flow like it was broken. I'm on the road, man. Making plays just like DeRozan. I shoot my shot, and that shit wetter than the ocean. I brag a lot, but with the wind and come the boat saying I made a lot from them apartments that I sold. And he didn't make it up to college, sold them streets when he enrolled. And I know I'm a scholar from the moments that I was exposed in.